Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today, we got the top 10 math memes from September 2020. Now, you voted for these math memes with your likes on our Instagram page, at Minute Math. So, let's go dive in, and you let me know which one was your favorite. So, with number 10 here, well, I... I feel like there used to be a lot of problems like this, but I don't really see problems like this anymore. But there's always someone, you know, I guess getting the bananas, it's always watermelons, bananas. There's some real life story, I guess, here. I don't know. I think there's more than 250 bananas in that uh, shopping cart right there. Anyway, all right. Number nine. <laughs> no self-control. And I'll be honest though, if you don't have self-control, with talking to people, you don't have self-control with Google up right there. You can see, like, it even looks like he's Googling something, like, on the side, just for fun. I don't know. Either way, gotta get your work done. Uh, <laughs> number eight here. <laughs> that is pretty good. It's, uh, it shows how multiple choice questions are made, but, man, a good old Steve Harvey right there. Oh, it's <laughs> That is some good Photoshop right there. Number seven, um, I would actually flip these around, okay? Flip the reasons why, why it's a bad idea to major in physics. Biggest reason is math is hard. All right, if you can't do the math, can't do the physics. Number six here, um, <laughs> what I love about this one here is like, it's the first witty, like, uh, witty, Name every number right there, right? But it's the, like the next joke afterwards, right? The imaginary number, like, hey, like, and I just love also that like upset guy there, I guess at a sporting event, is, is used in so many different ways. They keep coming up with new ways for that. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. Number, what is this, five here? Uh, <laughs> when you, or at the end of the exam, it's amazing how focused you get and you're just trying to like zip through and <laughs> your brain's like an overdrive. It really shows you how efficient your brain can be right there. All right, number four right here. Um, is it the snake bites me still at the... <laughs> the logic, the logic there, but I mean, I feel sorry for Will Smith for this one here, but uh, it's a great face. <laughs> Good for the meme. I guess I kind of feel bad using the meme for this one. Anyway, number three. This one, I don't even know if the math is right. I guess I should like look at it and see if it's actually like done correctly. It could be a whole bunch of gibberish, whatever, but I guess you have three. But hey, uh, sometimes you just can do a lot of extra math work. Don't really need it. It makes you feel useless there. Number two, I'm mean, still trying to understand derivatives. Let's see if it's right. <laughs> it is true, like, oh man, we, what, the calculus sometimes, you like, you start zipping through and you're, if you, if you uh, get caught not knowing the next step, man, it's, it's gonna get you. It's gonna get you right there. All right, and before we hit number one, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, if you like this shirt, by the way, mintmathshop.com has all your stuff right there. Free shipping and help support this channel. All right, number one. This one, I was kind of surprised with number one, but uh, hey, you picked it there. And um, our number is really higher than others in a way. I don't know, but I guess they are. But like the infinity isn't really a number, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But anyway, good joke. I think it was popular mainly because... It didn't take too much brain power for everyone to understand. So everyone like, yeah, a lot of people liked them because it's easy to understand. Anyway, that was number one. Not my favorite, but your favorite. But if what was your favorite specifically, let me know down in the comment section below. And I will see you next time. So as always, thanks for watching. 